I don't know shit. People call me Big D Johnson! Submission by One Man Cheeseburger Apocalypse. Alright, so everything's going to hell in a handbasket as fast as possible. You need to get off that balcony, or the jockey and smoker are going to cream you. The charger has the perfect setup, getting insta kill the whole team right now, but no one's doing anything about it. They just want to have a good old grand time looking at the side. Smoker's like, hey, what's going on down here? And you're like, oh, I don't know. I'm just hanging. <laughs> oh, good job. All right. Fatty wants to say hi. Don't smack him again. All right. I think he's got one more smack. You better shoot him. Bam. Very nice. You took that effectively. You counted out your melees. Once he takes about five to six melees, he will pop. So you counted him out right. I don't know if you did that on purpose, if you counted them out correctly, or you were just like, okay, now's the time to shoot. Anyways, uh, keep an eye on your team as we progress forward. Uh, the Charger can insta-kill someone through these windows, so just take this uh, conservatively. There's the Charger. Bam! Nick gets hit. War is out of here. Alright, so make sure to shoot him. You got shot a bunch on the way there. Does anybody have any melee weapons? Okay, you got a bio bomb. Good. You grabbed it off the CETA agent. Uncommon effect your profile. Hope you watched it. They will give you those. Alright, so everything's going to... that. The smoker really should have saved it for a ch possible charger. Alright, so everyone, you need to look behind you and help your teammates shoot the commons off them so you can, they, they can get in the elevator a lot quickly. Lame says don't go down. Lame is wanting to... I guess he picked up a bio bomb. Everyone's going over there for some reason. I hate this part because everyone sees a grenade and wants to spend all their time. You can do without a grenade. You can do without it. I'd rather you not get insta-killed out the window because you wanted to wait to get... I'm guessing, what is that, a pipe bomb? Yeah, you're wanting to get the pipe bomb. And I'm guessing... Yep, here he goes. Slap. Grab. Pipe. Ooh, kinky. Ooh, my. They're wanting to grab the pipe. Alright, so everyone's wanting to wait. Get Let the special effect get all their spawns. Uh, is it really worth it to get one pipe bomb? You already have three bio bombs. There's an adrenaline right in front of you. I mean, if you're going to waste time, go ahead and grab that adrenaline. You sat there and stared. <gasps> oh, God. I mean, he wouldn't have made it. He wouldn't have insta-killed you, but still, that level of charge was freaking gold. But let me get this straight. So you wasted everyone's time, tried to get her to get that pipe bomb, and you saw adrenaline in front of you when you got smoked, and you left it? What is that? Sorry, my idiot brother changed my settings. How does that change anything? Oh, about you staying in the elevator. Okay, okay. Don't open it. I'm guessing there's a tank outside or something since he's saying that. Yep, hi tank. Alright, but, dude, you wasted everyone's time for a pipe bomb, but you won't grab the adrenaline that was right in front of you. You could have just tapped X or whatever you used on the keyboard. I'm an Xbox gamer. Well, so what? Big whoop, wanna fight about it? Alright, so we're grabbing the silent submachine gun. It looks different. I guess you have a mod on or something. Alright, so you're taking out the horde. You need to keep an eye on your six. This is like, okay, so you really need to keep an eye on your teammate. Okay, you looked back. It looks like you have a blinded teammate. And what are you going to do? You're just going to keep running ahead. Okay, there you go. You're keeping an eye on him. You're going forward. And you're just going to keep on trucking. War is getting blinded. So what is so Let me get this straight. So if your brother was blind and you're walking him across the street. Are you going to walk all the way across the street while he's limping forward trying to figure out where the hell he is? Well, by the time you look back after you said, yeah, I made it across the street, too late, your brother is already getting hit by an 18 wheeler. His blood and guts are splattered everywhere. He's dead. It's a good thing you got to the end of the street, though. At least that happened. Oh, looks like Rochelle's going to get hit, and it looks like, uh... that looks like Nick's not going to make it back up. Good job! You watch your blind brother 10% of the way across the street. You got across the street, celebrated, and you saw him get hit by an 18 wheeler. Congratulations! An 18 wheeler hit your little brother. Alrighty, so, what have we learned? Let's not leave the blind in the middle of the street. How's that sound? Sound good? Alright, go ahead and do the special infected side. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with that. <sighs> Let's see. Alright, we already got a charger, so we're already good for an insta kill. You have the jockey and smoker that could help you out. The boomer could help with the blindness factor too, so they couldn't tell the charger's coming. Uh, you're going to go for the end of the hallway charge. That's really risky. I always try to go for the balcony where you guys were getting screwed. Because if you jockey or smoke somebody off that ledge, the charger can charge whoever is trying to pick up the teammate. They're sitting still versus you possibly maybe getting the guy that's jockeyed in front of the window or smoked because they might get killed. See, when somebody's down to off the ledge, they are guaranteed to stay in that spot unless they get picked up. 
For somebody that smoked or jockeyed, if someone kills the smoker, they're free. If someone kills the jockey, they're free. If someone's getting jockeyed, there's a chance the jockey might not be able to keep control in a straight line. You want to do a guarantee when you do these kind of charges and attacks. Alright, so Charger's breaking down the door. He's trying to make it to where he has a window of opportunity later on. Mmm. Mmm. Cherry Dr. Pepper. And, uh... We're just gonna see how you pull this one off, bro. Alright, so you spawned in way ahead of time, so they know a Charger's somewhere out there. Unless they're just completely idiotic. Oh, you've already lost a little bit of your health. He's waiting on you to come in. It might be your time to go now. Are you gonna do it? This, that angle's horrible. That angle's horrible. You need, uh-oh. You need to get out of there. Don't attack. Don't attack. Get away. Just go run, run, run away. Fight again another day. That's another motto if, it, if you want to get that stuck in your head. If you, you were the charger and three of them have pistols, you could have ran away, gone back into spawn mode. See what the smoker set up? Here's where you could have had a really good time. Actually, no, this team's going to be smart. Oh, the Rochelle. Look at that. Look. Here's your opportunity as a charger right here. You could have got the insta kill. Oh my god. So, that's what I hate about when people get chargers. They want to get the insta kill as soon as they spawn in. No, think ahead of time. Look, War's got the charger. All right, you're going to boom. You're going to get miss them completely. All right, so that's going to happen. Uh charger spawned on the opposite side. All right, coach is going <gasps> to Oh, the unluck. Oh, oh! He went flying, baby. All right, so it's just Coach, it is just Coach right now. Smoker's gonna get his recharge in time. Coach needs to stop fucking around or else, yep. Alright, so Coach needs to pick up. Don't pick up Rochelle. Do not pick up. That's game. That is game. Alright, so War, War took his chance, but if I was you, I would've kept the Charger, but I mean, you guys still whooped ass. You still did good, but just in the future. Oh, wow, so you're giving me clips from a bunch of different campaigns. I like this. That's a, cool, that's a cool Zoe mod, by the way. Nice jacket. Alright, so. Wow. Okay, we're skipping ahead. Alright, so we're in No Mercy Chapter 4. Charger's charging for some reason. That's interesting. Alright, so you have already spawned in. Oh, got him around the corner. You want to spit? Charger needs to get in there. He doesn't have his charge yet. Shit. Run away, bitch! Run! Run, bitch! Run! Uh-oh. Oh, what a hit, what a hit, what a hit. All right, body block, good shit. All right, you're going to take the hit for him. Spit right there, very good. Now, what you want to do, yeah, with the spitter or boomer, if you're in front of somebody, body block. If you're the boomer, you can make sure the special infected gets ricocheted. Spitter, you'll be able to take 100 bullets for the charger, 100 uh, damage in bullets. And then once the charger finally dies, there's that pull of spit that the person has to crawl up out of. So they'll take progressive damage. So you did a good job of body blocking there. I enjoyed seeing that. It's just some of your decisions in the first chapter of Dead Center I was not a, not a big fan of. Alright, Smucker, you took your chance of getting the person that was way in the back. The other team, you left somebody in the behind when you really shouldn't have. What's up with this restart chapter? No te la crees ni tu. Yeah, I know, man. I think it's going to restart on y'all. Zoe got absolutely demolished. Alright, so I guess we uh, restarted the chapter. Yep, we did. Yeah, okay, because Zoe's full health. DT, 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 DT. Pennywise, the Pennywise, the dancing clown. All right, so Zoe's by. Ooh. Damn. Charger dick. Does he even have a dick? No. Just judging how gi giant that fist is, it's probably just a bloody pulp at this point. Non-stop masturbation. Am I right? Jesus. All right, so we have three people. Where's the fourth? Start doing body counts. Let's not start doing the return to lobby stuff, please. That's just stupid. You know, I wish that... See how it says vote called by Pennywise the Dancing Clan? I wish the 360 version would have had that implemented to where you can see who keeps putting up the votes. That would have been nice. That way you could just kick the person that's spamming. Alright, good job, Jockey. You got the one person that was by themselves. The Horde is going to help you demolish him. Get in that room. We do it quick before. Oh, you got him down. Climb up. No, don't get yeah, climb up there. Climb up. No, what are you doing? Oh my God, you're dead. You had an opportunity to get somewhere, but you wanted to. You you keep having these opportunities in front of you, and then you're like, nope, I'd rather jump out in front of an 18 wheeler and die. You're having these way too often, man. Adrenaline, climbing walls, charger opportunities. You're just kind of like, you, you're. Panicking too much. 
You, ch you need to think collectively, think calmly. All these situations can be solved if you just look at what's in front of you instead of saying, I need to go here, I need to be at point B. No, there's a whole area between point A and point B where something else better could occur. Alright, so you got two booms there, that's nice. The Charger has an opportunity. Coming up, they know Charger insta-kills are very frequent here. It seems like the Jockey's trying to help Charger set up. Looks like they are doing a good job of trying to set that up. Wish I knew Espanol, but I do not. I only know sign language and English. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so, good lord, I still got ten more minutes to talk through. Oh, doggy. Alright, got the insta-kill. <laughs> I was so content with uh, trying to breathe right then that I uh, didn't even think of uh, that insta-kill occurring. But, there you go. Uh, Hunter, you're going in, you're going to get Bill. Nope, you got Z uh, Z Lewis. You got Lewis, which you honestly... Uh, yeah, you really should have just waited for your team to respawn. Going in as one hunter is not going to do you any good. That's why I hate the hunter, because in most of these situations, they're just not helpful. Like a jo jockey could have taken him away, smoker could have taken him away, charger could have taken him away. Hunter's the only one that, like, keeps somebody stationary. Alright, so jockey got Bill down, charger's going to provide backup. They're going to give up on him. He is dead. He's dead to the world. Nope, wait, are they? Alright, spawn behind the safe room door. Oh my god, spawn. You, oh my god, oh, you're going so far. They're, I don't think they're going back from, oh, they are. They Okay, he died. All right, you're uh, you're doing that panic thing again. All right, never mind. You see, you went way far backwards. You should have spawned in between them where those doors were, and you could have spawned a lot faster, and you could have assessed the situation better. Good job on killing that dumbass hunter, though. Ooh, that spit. All right, so, again, I know it's stressful situations. I know it can be hard to figure out what you want to do, but just get more familiar with the levels if you're not already familiar with them. If you are, uh, just don't, don't go to like a, like I keep saying, you keep thinking of this one spot in the map you just have to go to. Never think of spots you want to go to unless they're guaranteed like insta-kills. That's how I think. Or guaranteed down. Honestly, you just need to work with your team to get the downs. And you need to also just figure out what would be a good spawn, not just four specific spots in a certain map that would be a good spawn. Because by the time you spawn there, the rest of your team's dead and the survivors have already progressed onwards. Alright, so the boomer's doing a good job of st stalling it. Someone threw a Molotov up there, it might come back down and bite you in the ass. It did not, so you'll be able to... I would go ahead and run up there, unless the charger's already burning. Common's already burning to death. Ah, uh, let's see. Fire's burning hot, baby. One man cheeseburger apocalypse. There's the flaming hunter, there's the boomer. I was surprised the boomer stayed alive that long. He is a smart boomer. Alright, so make sure there's no chargers that can insta-kill you here, because there is a chance. <gasps> there it is! Oh, he he ruined it. Alright, so you guys separated pretty efficiently there. You guys know about insta-kills. And you know, to keep separated and just watch out for the spawns. Get, we got that XD going. Alright, so you're keeping an eye on your teammates, finally, keeping the zombies off, and... Oh, it's because of Zoe. Gotta keep that waifu safe, am I right, fellas? Alright, so you're getting some ammo, you're taking your time staring at the ammo instead of looking around. Could've got the boomer. Yeah, just tap X and look back. You don't have to stare at it while you go. Ayuda! Ayuda la reputa madre! Ayuda la reputa madre! Look at that copy-paste. Jesus. What is that? Your mom is stupid? Your mom's a bitch? What is that? Somebody who speaks Spanish, can you translate that for you? Ayuda le puta madre. I already know what the word of the day is gonna be. Uh, let me know what you thought about my Smash Brothers coach video, by the way. That was a that was a little shitty video I felt like making it in the in the well. I was just trying to keep up with the meme of the Smash Brothers reveal. Oh, what a good shot! No, never mind. Jigammer got gotcha. you. I was like, damn. The <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh! See ya, Charger! You're descended to the earth like a masturbating meteor. Ooh, what should the name of this video be? Should it be 8 Simulator Smash or Masturbating Meteor? Uh, if I want to have this monetized, I probably shouldn't name it Masturbating Meteor. <laughs> That'd be a good metal band name, though. I think I'll make a metal band on Wasage Gaming called Masturbating Meteor. Or Meteor Baiting. Master Meteor. Alright, so Savage Glocker, you guys got an eye on him. You guys are in the good spot of where you need to be. 
if you're wanting to uh, survive. I mean, you can't be called a survivor if you don't survive, right? Alright, uh, so you guys are wiping them out one by one. They're trying to sneak up behind you. Good job on killing the spitter. Glocker is just... He's lone wolfing it a lot. He needs to get back up. Uh -oh. Alright, so Boomer's got him. You're going to shoot the... Oh my goodness, that could have downed him. Alright, Smoker's behind y'all. Yeah, they're trying to spawn in that little... Yeah, oh my god, Glocker. At this point, I'd be screaming at him saying, Please, stop lone wolfing it. This is not... I was talking to BG Bean about this the other night. This game is not a game for you to lone wolf. This is not Call of Duty Zombies. This is not Dead Rising. This isn't even Dead Island. This isn't any other zombie game you played unless it's something like Killing Floor. You need to stay as a team. If you try to lone wolf it, you are screwed. I mean, even in Killing Floor, you can hold your own if you just run in a certain way. You cannot outrun a hunter most of the time. A charger could somehow get you. A smoker on expert, even on here, could get you if you don't get your shot right. And when you're hit, there ain't no coming back from it. This isn't Call of Duty Zombies where you can just run in a circle for two hours and get the high score. If you're hit, you are dead, you are out. That's the same for your teammates. So treat it like a team game. Stay near teammates so they can you can help them and they can help you. Please. Treat it like left four dead, not left one dead. There's a reason there's a four in there. It's not just for the pun. It's to tell you that there's four people playing on both sides. Anyways, that's me done ranting and raving. You got the jockey good shit. Jockey was dumb. That was a bot jockey. I'm surprised he did. <gasps> it's always scary to see a charger on this map. Ooh, what a flip. That You know, his rap name would be Little Flip. Yeah, yeah, Charger. Little flip on deck. All right, Smoker. Oh, you're going to mow him down. Good shit. You don't see kills with that turret very much. Turrets in this game are not very uh, frequent. Tank's really scared since you pulled out that Bastion Overwatch turret. Are you going to try to get him with it? All right, someone's trying to lure him out. So, oh, shot the rock out of the air. I don't know who did that, but that was congratulatory. I don't know if Bill got hit or not. Was not paying that big of attention. Alright, so I don't know what the tank's doing. I think he's trying to throw rocks. I think they might have hit him with the Molotov Spitter. You need to get away from the turret. Good stuff. Keep an eye on Mr. Kralex. He might get hunted here. He's the only one right there. Tank is coming up for him. Jumps down. Mow him down, baby. Alright, got a little bit of residual damage. Alright, is he trying to lead him back or is he climbing up for you? Oh, you don't need to get on those pipes. Very nice. The pipes there are a dangerous, dangerous game to play. The most dangerous game. Read that in high school. Ooh, you gotta hunt the man, baby. Alright, Smoker's gonna pull him off. No, it wouldn't have pulled him off the edge because of that ledge. The uh, little guardrail wall. Alright, so Tank's dead. We're looking at a second part. I don't think... Are we gonna have an infected side for you? Because uh, we got about five minutes. Uh, there might be if you guys wreck him pretty fast. Alright, so you're keeping an eye out. Taking out the commons as they come. I think you have to deal with about three to four waves of commons before the second tank spawns here. Uh, does everyone have grenades? Yep, everyone has a Molotov. Damn. That is... That's what I hate seeing when you're playing Versus, is when the survivor side has like 80 Molotovs. Because you can spam Molotovs with the tank and it'd just be great. Wait, why are we trying to kick Jagamer? He's the one that keeps saving you guys. The one that needs to be kicked is Savage Glocker. He kept running off on his own. Look, now he's back because he learned his lesson. He's like, oh, maybe... Be Maybe being a lone wolf like how I was in high school, maybe that's not going to work. Maybe that's how society just doesn't work. I work alone, blah, blah, blah. I'm the assassin. I'm the assassin's creed. Oh, ho, oh, oh. Doesn't work that way, bro. All right, so welcome to society. Welcome to teamwork. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work. And dream work made Shrek, one of the best movies in human history. So just think about that. All right, I'm, I'm stressing teamwork today, baby. All right, so you're blinded. Let's make sure you don't get hit by an 18 wheeler crossing the road. See, look at that. We had two people shooting at y'all, keeping the horde off y'all. See? 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 You don't have to get hit by an 18 wheeler if you're blind. You learned your lesson today. All right, so the comments are still coming. Uh, you're keeping a stationary point. This is probably one of the easiest spots to do in a finale. Looks like some people on the other team are quitting because they know they're about to get trounced and score. All right, so I think the tank spawned, so that's why you're running out. Yep, alright, so, just have your ammo ready. Oh, you're getting the turret ready. You you like that thing. I, I don't see this often, so this is kind of fun. Just don't overheat it. Cause it take, I, I think it's like a 10-15 second cooldown on that thing. <sighs> Got him ready to start this new job, baby. Puntero. 
Alright, I don't think they hit the tank, but you guys have an unlimited supply of what it seems like is Molotovs, so I gotta take a big poop right now. God, this is a long ass video. Hunter's coming in. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's trying to show his parkour abilities. He got mowed down Bastion style. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alright, I don't know what these tanks are doing. They're trying to throw, like, just these, like, uh, Leroy Jenkins rocks. Thinking they're like Kobe Bryant style. Like, dude, what the hell? It's not gonna work. Alright, smoker jockey combo. You got the jockey, very good. You got your timing with the uh, melees on jockeys. Excellent. I like seeing that. Whoa, you can shoot the rocks out of there. Honestly, this would be a good practicing game if you're gonna start just fucking around with the turret. Alright, so here comes a horde. You're gonna keep them off with that. I would go ahead and grab another Molotov while we're at it. Not this noob game. Alright, well, we're approaching the end of the video. This is why such coaching. Looks like we're not going to get the special infected side, but it looks like you guys might just make it. You guys got plenty of time. This one's from One Man Cheeseburger Apocalypse. Thanks for uh, having such a long name. That was a bitch to type in. Uh, don't forget, we're going to have a little word of the day, and that is puta madre. Yep, that's right. Puta madre. Alright, so the helicopter's coming in. And uh, charging up mode down. It's not looking good for the enemy team. I think it's just a bunch of, yeah, they lost half their team. So, submit your footage to either WildSearchGaming at Yahoo.com or go to the WildSearchGaming Xbox Live group to submit your footage for either the WildSearch Coaching Series or the Fan Showcase Series. Like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw. And like always, you know what? All you need to do is really stay wow. Follow me on Discord, and until next time, I'm Zach S from WildSearchGaming. Love you.